The Federal Industry Minister today declared wave power is the holy grail of Southern Australia's future energy needs. The WA developed technology showcased in Fremantle today uses the ocean's natural currents to produce clean energy and fresh water. With the state government announcing plans for a second desalination plant, the hunt is on for more renewable sources to power it. The Federal Industry Minister, Ian McFarlane, says a wave farm trial at Fremantle is a snapshot of the future for southern Australian cities needing new water and energy sources. One area that this technology absolutely excels in is the fact that we are looking at a situation where it can supply all the major capital cities in Australia. With the help of a Commonwealth $700 million grant, the technology is capturing energy from the ocean floor, turning it into baseload power and even into drinking water supplies. No electricity, no oil, no nothing. It's just simply seawater coming ashore at very high pressure. A wave farm takes up about two AFL football ovals of sea floor. Submerged buoys create energy as they move with the passing waves, driving pumps that pipe the pressurised seawater to shore. The bit that's fascinated me about this project is the fact that the constancy of the waves, even when the surface is dead calm, uh, means that you can build a base load renewable energy power station and that is really the holy grail for us. The race for renewable energy is most often hindered by cost. A wave farm comes at a price tag of $400 million, about one and a half times the cost of powering our cities by coal. Bronwyn Herbert, ABC News.